Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a special guest here. My friend Bree came over to film with me. She also has a YouTube channel, Blissful Bree, so make sure to subscribe to her channel. And today we're gonna to be talking to you guys about disappointing products, so products that didn't work for us. And we also filmed a video on Bree's channel. We did the top five drugstore favorites. Yeah, so definitely be sure to check out that video as well. I'll put a link to it down below in the description box. And just a little disclaimer before we get started with the disappointing products. Obviously, these products just didn't work out for us. We're not calling this crap products. No. They're not crap products. They just didn't work for us, but they might work for you. So don't hate us if some of your favorites are disappointing exactly. products. Exactly. These are just the ones that <laughs> did not work out. Yes. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna go first with one of my disappointing products, and it's funny because this product Brie actually really it's likes. My favorite one, <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> so many people love this product, it just did not work out for me. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I feel like I've talked about this before on my channel, how it didn't really work for me. I just, I feel like because my skin is so dry, yeah. It just accentuated all of my dry patches, accentuated my pores, and it just looked really cakey and like bad on my skin. I don't know. I'm so sad. I wanted to love it. I definitely feel like you have to use a either spray to hydrate your skin or a primer. Obviously, you used it, but yeah. just something more to hydrate your skin just because it is a little bit drying and a little bit thicker consistency, I, but yeah. Um, I feel like I have to use a spray because I didn't dry that. I've kept it, honestly. I haven't even thrown it out because I'm like, no, like I want to like right. it. Like I, I'm going to try it again with a spray, but the first time I tried it and then I tried it a second time too, but just with primer and it just didn't work. So this was really disappointing to me. So my first one would have to be the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes. I don't know what it is, why I don't love them so much. I just feel like they should be a little bit more like thick. I don't yeah. Know, like for mink lashes, I just feel like they're not all there. I mean, it does have an invisible band, which is nice, but I just feel like I only got one use out of it, and for it being foam ink, I feel like I should have got more. But, I mean, it just didn't work out for me. So the next product that didn't work out for me is the Mali Volumizing Mascara. I haven't tried that many Mali Beauty products, but when I tried this, it just did literally nothing for my lashes. Like, the wand is pretty basic. It doesn't really look any different than any regular wand, but it just didn't do anything for my lashes. It didn't curl them. It didn't volumize them like it says. Like, it didn't separate them. It just really didn't do anything besides coat them in black so like I just kind of was like eh, you know like if I, I can use this mascara if I'm like wearing lashes so then it doesn't matter what it's doing to like my natural lashes but on my own I definitely cannot wear this I've never tried any Mally Beauty really products. yeah I don't I think do they sell it at Ulta mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I don't know I haven't tried that many of their products but this mascara was just kind of a flop for me so another product for me that just did not work out was the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liner this one is the purple shade and honestly I just feel like the pigmentation is just not there I feel like when I put it on my eyes, it just kind of has like, I don't know, it just like separates. It's kind of like watery. Yeah, I like, thought, like and I it kind of it. feels like a little oily. Like, yeah, it's just not as high quality as I thought it was going to be. It just kind of was a disappointing one for me. But the color is beautiful, and it does have a nice little sharp edge on the top. But because I tried it and I really like the brush, like yeah. the sharpness of the brush, but the actual like pigmentation wasn't like amazing. Yeah, and it's really like precise. Like you can really get in the inner corner and do a really nice wing too. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like. I wish it was more pigmented and yeah. less like runny. It was almost like runny. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly it. It's yeah. just runny. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So my next disappointing product, I feel like people are going to get mad at me for this. This is another one that like everyone loves, but this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I heard like so many good things about so this. And then like I got it and the only good thing I can say is this does smell amazing. Like it smells so good. Oh my god, it smells like you're on a beach. I know, like the smell is awesome, but it kind of like ends there. Like the product itself, no. I just don't really like it. Like it's kind of like, I don't know. It doesn't really show up on my skin. Maybe that's part of the reason why I don't like it. Because yeah. this is in the shade, I don't know. It just says bronzer, so I don't know if they come in multiple shades. But yeah, it just didn't really do much for my skin. And it is kind of powdery also for a bronzer. And there's not really any shimmer or anything to it. Like I just didn't really like it, but it does smell really good. So that is one positive thing I can say. <laughs> but aside from that, it didn't really do much for me. So another product that I just did not love is the Ofra Contouring, which is their Skin Sculpting Wand. I don't know, I just feel like it's not really pigmented. Like it's pigmented when you swatch it, but when you put it on your face and try to contour, it like separates and feels really oily. Mm -hmm. And it kind of left me like with like blotches. I don't know. Oh. Like it didn't really sculpt out my face really nicely. They do have four in the collection where they're like lighter and darker so you can highlight and contour. But I just feel like it did not do anything but like just separate on me. On my hand it kind of looks a little bit different, but when you put it on your face and you're blending everything out, it just gets a little bit blotchy. I have that, but I've never tried it. I don't know, like I feel like 
it dries nicely like when it's on the hand, but when you blend it out, especially if you're using a beauty blender, I don't know, it just doesn't, yeah. it does not look that great. I don't use like cream contour that much. I don't know, I'm just more of a powder. Me either, but recently I've been doing the Anastasia, which is really nice. That's the, the, the foundation stick or the contour oh, stick, right. and that's nice, but I don't even draw it on. I just put it on a brush and like blend it in, so mm -hmm. I don't know. This one just really separated for me. So up next, I have the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. Now, I love Urban Decay products. Like, I'm literally such a big fan of their products, especially their palettes, but this palette just didn't really do it for me, and I feel like because I have such high hopes with Urban Decay, I was hoping for more, but it's just all shimmery colors. There's a lot of fallout with these. They are pretty because they are pigmented they are shimmery but there is a lot of fallout and like what look am I really gonna like create with these color you know what I mean like you can't create a full eye look because they're yeah. all shimmery and I just don't really like palettes that are all shimmer colors like I need some mattes I need some transition colors like some highlight colors like these are all just so shimmery and I could never actually create a full eye look with this and then I have to use other palettes so I just feel like it's not really worth the money especially because there is a lot of fallout like if they were like really really great shimmer shadows then maybe I'd be like right. okay right. but yeah these just to me were not up to the standards of like other Urban Decay palettes that I have so I just was kind of disappointed yeah, they're, they're super, like, pigmented, though. Yeah. But the only thing is that fallout. Like, I had to give it back. I, I couldn't keep it. I had yeah. the same thing. Because it was just, like, just... all over my face, and I was like, ugh, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, so. Yeah, I was really excited for it, too. It's so pretty. I know. Yeah, like, the packaging it's is gorgeous. so pretty. And, like, Urban Decay is just, like, so known, I feel like, for their eyeshadow palettes with the nakeds and everything else. But, like, yeah, yeah this one just wasn't that great. So another disappointing product for me was the Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Gloss. So that's probably going to come as a surprise for you guys because their Sweet Peach palette and their Sweet Peach line is amazing. And I do love it. Like, the smell is awesome. But for me, it just got, like, the white ring on the inner corner of the lips. And some lip colors do that to me, so I can't really blame it 100% on this. But mm -hmm. I just feel like, I don't know, it's really pigmented too. So I didn't think I was going to have that issue. Yeah, I don't know. It just gave me like that white ring and just looked like it was wearing for like a long time when I had just put it on. Mm. So that's just disappointing for me. I'm really upset because I wanted to love it really bad. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's a good example though of how like these aren't crap products. They're right. just like products that didn't specifically work for us because like I personally like that. that. Yeah. And like she likes the Milani foundation that didn't work for me. So yep. it's just like some products just work differently on different people. Exactly. That's a perfect explanation because <laughs> I'm obsessed with that foundation. So I don't know, girl. <laughs> So the last product that just didn't work out for me is the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. Now, I had really high hopes for this because I feel like this company is really big on their like concealers and mm -hmm. foundations, and I heard really good things about it, but it just it didn't work for me. Like I didn't think that it was really that great, and it kind of is like very, very oily, like if I can get some out on my skin. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like it's literally like so oily. It's like running down my hand right now, so it's just like did not work and it creased like crazy on my under eyes. Like I definitely would not suggest this for under eyes. I know they're supposed to have really good coverage. So maybe if you're trying to cover relishes, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it might work well, but on the under eyes, it was a nightmare. And that's really the only place that I use wow, concealer. Wow, look at that separation. Yeah, oh it's like God. separating and like literally falling down Whoa. my hand. Like, yeah, it just did not work out for me. And I have, I have a few of them and I do like them. But I didn't try that one yet, so I don't Yeah, like, I don't know why I just got, like, a bad batch or something, but, like, your concealer yeah. should not be, like, running down. Ooh. Oh, my God, that... Ooh. It's, like, literally, okay. like, an oil. Okay. Like, <laughs> it just did not work. Jeez. So another product that was a no-go for me is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This one is their original one, and this one is on the stick, and it's just really, like, clumpy and thick and pretty oily, I think, um, if that even makes any sense. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, like, chunky and I don't know. It just has that feeling of oil. Also, when you have it on your eyelids and you're putting on your eyeshadow, I just noticed that it really creases a lot and doesn't really set down on your, your lids. I don't wow. know. Yeah, it's it's really weird. And when I put on my eyeshadow, I notice like the pigment is different. Oh. So like my outer corner color will be like either really dark or not dark enough. Oh, like, that's Like on weird. either eye. Sometimes it's like different on each one, but it like makes a whole different look. So I don't know. Wow. It, it has to be this product because when I use other primers, it doesn't do that. Also, when I had the sample version of this one, it was on a squeezy tube, and that one worked fine for me. So I don't know if it's just because it's on a stick and like different formulation or whatnot, but this one is just not not good, and it's just really like clumpy. Oh yeah, it like is. it's weird. I don't know. That is because yeah. I have the squeezy tube one, which I think is like the older package. Yeah, and and that works fine. Formula, but it has I haven't to be tried that. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe when they repackage it, like change the products a little bit. Yeah, because it just creases like really bad, and it has like a lot of oil. Ugh. in there but it's like chunky if that makes sense so that's interesting didn't work for me 
All right, you guys, so those are all of our disappointing products and the products that just did not work out for us. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you guys leave and go over and subscribe to Breeze Channel and watch our video over there on our top five drugstore products. It's definitely gonna be a lot of fun. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.